Wednesday's matchup. LeBron James and the Lakers, uh, yeah, they're facing the scoring champs, Steph Curry and the Warriors, of course, without Clay Thompson at Staples Center, 10 Eastern, ESPN, Manana. LeBron has 27 career points per game to Steph's 24. Steph has two scoring titles to LeBron's one. The King has double the amount of MVPs and one more NBA title, but Steph has gotten the best of LeBron in the playoffs. In 22 meetings between the two, Curry has gone 15 and 7 against the King. Max Kellerman. Do LeBron and Steph help or hurt each other's legacy? Well, LeBron has hurt Steph's legacy. By the way, you know I like analytics, right? Mm -hmm. But that's the difference between analytics and statistics. Okay. There are lies, damn lies, and statistics, right? <laughs> you have to know how to contextualize them. Steph Curry has no such record like that in the playoffs against LeBron? That's absurd. Well, what I just let's, gave you, 15 and 7? Come on, let's look at really what happened. First time they link up in the playoffs, right? In the finals. Give me that look for you. You already out. You're, you're on one today already, huh? First time, first time we're in a room together in a minute, and you give me that look already. Oh, I first so. time they wake up in a playoffs. Yeah. It was so obvious that LeBron was the best player in the series. Mm -hmm. He didn't have Kyrie or Kevin Love. Mm -hmm. Della Vadova was his second best player. They still took him six games. Who won Finals MVP? LeBron should have gotten it. They didn't want to give it to the guy on the losing team. They gave it to Iguodala because he guarded LeBron. Steph didn't win finals MVP because it's so obvious that LeBron was way better than him and everybody else on the floor. That's the first finals. Second finals, a 73-win Warriors team is beaten by LeBron James. By the way, Steph wasn't going to win finals MVP again. It was going to be Draymond. LeBron won it because he was the best player in the finals, so his team won. That should have been 2-0 for LeBron. Then KD joined a 73-win team, making it impossible for anyone else to win. We all know, okay, as soon as KG signed that team, this man right here was like, that's the weakest move ever by a superstar, because you know it was a non-competitive move. LeBron had no shot. LeBron was still the best player in that series. But you know who the best player on the Warriors was? KD. Steph was second. Because Steph is so much under LeBron that everyone acknowledged Steph, Clay, Dre, Iggy, they need KD to help them beat LeBron and then did it again the next season. How many finals has, has, has Steph played in? He's played in five finals. How many finals MVPs has he won? Zero. And mostly, that's because of LeBron James. LeBron James, meanwhile, in every finals he's ever played in, except maybe the second one when KD won it, has been the best player on the floor. LeBron has hurt Steph's legacy. Uh, first of all... <sighs> Not only are you wrong, blasphemous, and utterly ridiculous, but the other part about it is that you got to ask the question, because I don't recall Molly asking the question about who was the better player. That whole soliloquy you just went on was about LeBron being better than Steph. That wasn't a damn question. It was about whose legacy was affected. Now let's get to the legacy. How many times has Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors beat LeBron in the NBA Finals? With or without KD? That's not my question. You don't get to ask the question. I asked you a question. How many times has Steph Curry... 
Curry's team beat a LeBron James team in the NBA Finals? Answer it. That wasn't the Steph Curry team. I asked you. I, three. I asked the question. Does he play for the Golden State Warriors? Three. You see how you trying to avoid the question because I get to a point. You trying to delay the point that I'm trying to get to. Statistics. Three times, right? Yeah. How many titles would LeBron James have if he won those three? Three more titles than he has now. How much would that be? Seth. How much more of Michael Jordan would that be? Mm -hmm. I hear what you're saying. So if LeBron James had one more title than Michael Jordan, perhaps there would be an elevated level of legitimacy to the argument that he is indeed the GOAT as opposed to MJ. In some people's mind, not yours, not mine, but in the minds of many people. The fact of the matter is LeBron James has lost as many titles as Michael Jordan has won. Now, what I'm saying is this. When I talk about LeBron James being number two all time, yeah. I don't recall me ever saying that Steph Curry was in that conversation. I've said that great Steph Curry is the greatest shooter God ever created. The greatest shooter we've ever seen, without question. Mm -hmm. He's number one by far in that category. But in terms of the greatest player ever, the argument in the discussion is LeBron MJ with people bringing up Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. If there were not three NBA Finals losses on that resume for LeBron James, we might be having a different conversation. Yeah. Last time I checked, that's legacy. Yeah, you know, Excuse not me. what Actually, you're talking Matt, about I with the best player. I need to clarify player. something you said because when I read that record today, you said it's lies, damn lies, and statistics. But on Friday show, you told me records are statistics of events. Or no. Statistics are records of okay. events, right? So it records the events that took place, but it doesn't give you details. And once you get the details, you contextualize it. So let me now tell Stephen A, and, and let me just say, like, you're slick, Stephen A, you're good. If I'm not sitting here, you get away with that nonsense. I'm actually, gra line. I'm actually great when I I'm up against you. I agree. You're, oh, well, go you're, ahead. You're great to even <laughs> be able to say <laughs> the conversation with me. That, that, that right there puts you in the inner sanctum of the Hall of Fame. Let me, let me explain it. Let me explain this. Um, when you say, what's their record when they face each other and LeBron would have seven if not for Steph, that's where you're being slick. Because whoever you see in the finals is going to be a great team, right? So really? if LeBron, does, yeah, whoever really? you see in the finals is going to be a great team. In the, really? the Western Conference, of course. Any one of those teams in the Western Conference is going to be a loaded team. Who's about this generally year? out of the West. Those years that LeBron played the Western Conference team, you have to be loaded to get out of the West. So if LeBron in year one doesn't have... Kyrie or Kevin Love, he probably loses to whatever comes out of the West anyway. That's one down. That's not Steph. Again, Steph didn't win MVP on his own team. It was Dollar did for the defense he played on LeBron, which was simply acknowledging Quick, LeBron was the MVP. Question. That's one more question here. If LeBron and the Cleveland Cavaliers had gone up against Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant at OKC instead of Oklahoma City, without you don't touch up, touch up, no, no. You don't think that Cleveland would have had a chance? Without Kyrie or Kevin you Love, don't think they got so, Excuse me. Smoked. Excuse me. Then why are you saying they would have gotten smoked? Because of the greatness of Kevin Durant? Okay. The greatness of Kevin Durant, who you continuously malign, because you know what? Oh, this, this guy, I, I'm the one that called it the weakest move. But the point that I'm trying to make is he's not in LeBron's class. He doesn't come close. The decision making, the decision making at the time of Russell Westbrook as a point guard and how that could have worked against him. Time out. There are two dudes on that OKC team that are different, KD and Westbrook. Yes. Without Kyrie or Kevin Love, you got one dude on Cleveland. Two usually beats one. They probably lose. I'm My point is, the next season, when you say count the chips, LeBron beat a 73-win Steph team. That's what you hate. That might be the greatest season ever in terms of the story. So if LeBron beat a 73-win team, if LeBron beat a 73-win team, how come before when he played and he should have been MVP, averaged a triple, damn near a triple double, if not a triple double in that NBA Finals, was absolutely when he when he took a bow to Jim Brown, when he was absolutely sensational, they had a two one lead on the Golden State Warriors. How come that LeBron could not have beaten an OKC team? Without Kyrie, I'm not saying the way it was because playing. that OKC team was a great team. That OKC team the next year almost beat that Warriors team. They were loaded. They looked like maybe they were the best team in basketball in 16. And they what were in a year, LeBron almost look, look, beat them too. Wait, wait, so those are those two, 15 and 16. If you look at 17 and 18, that's not Steph stopping LeBron. That's not him affecting LeBron's legacy. That's Steph and Clay and Dre and Iggy, everybody, Steve Kerr, everybody saying. Looking at LeBron going, we need that's, more. That's, Let's that's go get KD. That, that's, that's 
a team. That's a team. In the end, his legacy is affected because of the fact that he has those three NBA Finals losses. And I didn't even, I'm just bringing up from a generic perspective, overall, the fact that you have three additional losses, if you are four and six instead of seven and three in NBA Finals appearances, that might have something to do yeah, can get with your legacy. Like, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, he was on that team. He's one of the stars of that team. By the way, Steph Curry is a career 26 and a half point per game scorer in the NBA Finals. Not to mention what he does in the postseason. It's bad because his numbers fall. He shoots 38% from three-point range in the finals. Yeah. I mean, just stop the presses. What a catastrophe. Yeah, let's be clear. When <laughs> I say with, Steph with, the joints in the finals, with, I mean for with, his with, We're talking about Steph Curry here. The bottom line is there are three losses in the finals on LeBron's resume courtesy of okay. Steph Dude, which is a unanimous MVP. Period. The matter. 16. You remember that. You remember that. You remember that. You remember that. You remember that because you read instead of watch. But for those of us. I saw you in the game. I understand you that. You saw me in the game. And, and, and you were there reading. The bottom line is you were there reading. <laughs> you were there reading. That's what, That's what you were doing instead of watching the game. That's what you were doing instead of watching the game. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. For seven titles. It would have been one more than MJ. That's what you're missing. Okay, so Stephen A. said Steph has hurt LeBron's legacy. Matt yes. says LeBron has hurt Steph's legacy. Just in case that wasn't clear. Great debate, though. Let's keep it rolling to the East Coast, where I'm from. The 